Hi guys, um, I'm going to show you how to build an item sorting device like the one that's running in front of me here today. Um, it's currently sorting just three items, but I'll talk you through the different components that are used to build it, um, exactly how they work, and then talk you through the actual construction of it. Um, so we'll come back to this in a little while. Actually, I'll turn it off just for now. So, patch 1.5 added a few new items. Uh, we have the hopper, which has five iron ingots and a chest, the comparator which has three redstone torches, three stone and a nether quartz, so you'll need to get yourself into the nether to get that, but once you do there's an awful lot of nether quartz over there so it's easy enough to come by. And for the purposes of explaining some of the items I'm going to use this item which is the daylight detector, basically it will send out a redstone signal during the daytime, um, so for that it's three wooden slabs, three nether quartz and three glass blocks. So the hopper will basically, if there's items above it, it will attempt to suck them in and if there's a container below it, it will push those items into uh, the container. Um, and that's basically what it does. But there's an additional um, feature that when you place a comparator next to a container, and in this instance a hopper, the comparator sets out, sends out a signal based on the percentage um, full that the container is. So at the moment this comparator is sending out a signal which is lighting up a whole load of these redstone lamps and if we go to the hopper um, and we remove some of those items you can see that the signal is less strong so we're only having a few of the lamps lit up and it's this strength to percentage full um, ratio and the signal being sent out that the sorter actually uses and we'll get to that when we actually demonstrate the sorter in full. The other thing which we use um, is a NOT gate. Um, basically this inverts a signal being sent into it. So here we have our daylight detector with a redstone signal coming out of it. This is the stone and the redstone lamp and the redstone lamp would normally be on but when the signal goes into the back of this block the redstone lamp will be forced off so there's no signal going to this redstone lamp if I set it to night time we now have no signal going in here so the redstone lamp will light up and our redstone lamp goes on and that there is the basis for how would you how you would build a system to turn on all the lights um, around your house or whatever it is that you have built at night time so we'll set it back to daytime um, and we'll go and have a look at exactly what our sorter is doing. So here is the uh, sorter just for one item. So basically we have the top hopper which will suck items in it above um, and because it's connected to the glass block it won't actually be able to push them out so the items will just sit there. Um, and then we have our comparator which sends a signal based on this, uh, how full the comparator is and I'm going to come back to that in a moment but as you can see at the moment the signal is only actually going one block away it's not coming down further so the signal will basically come down this way and then into a repeater here the repeater is just to give the signal uh, an extra bit of duration on to this not gate here um, now at the moment this redstone lamp is powering the hopper below and when power is sent into a hopper what happens is that hopper stops working so at the moment this hopper is not going to try and pull any items from the hopper above now what will happen is when the signal strength gets strong enough from the hopper above the signal will come down and around and switch off this which will then turn on the bottom hopper which at that point will try and suck out some of the items from the upper hopper and push them into this chest and the trick in making the sorter work, if we come back up here, is that you fill it up with 22 items. As soon as a 23rd item goes in there, it's going to cause um, the power to go and the lower hopper will start working and suck the excess out and push them into the chest. So if I take out those mushrooms there and then push them in, you can see them straight away being sucked out um, and they'll keep getting sucked into the lower one. Um, and there was always one in the lower one and then slowly they fill up again and that's basically how it works so when we want to build one we just put the additional items beside it now 
to line up a whole load of chests side by side if you alternate between regular chests and trap chests. Um, you could build wider chests if you wanted. Um, and when you're placing the hopper against the chest, shift click to place it. And we will put our redstone torch, our repeater. To do the comparator, you want to place it like this. And redstone, and redstone. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to load up this one with one, two, three, four, and the excess can go there. And they're going to get sucked down and the gravel will be filtered through into this one. Um, that's happened fairly quickly. Yeah, it's going up there 27, 29. Yeah, so that's working grand. Now, and that's basically your hopper. What I've done here, I have three of them side by side. I've added a train cart with a hopper inside it, so I fill everything I want into the chest, flick the switch, and I'll just go back and forth, there's a powered rail on either side, and it'll bounce back and forth, and the items will go into the hoppers accordingly. And basically, because every one of these is lined up with one gunpowder, no other items can go in there. The items are always sucked out from the first one, and that's basically the trick behind it. So, I'll set this one going here. Remove the gunpowder, bone, rotten flesh, and we'll just put few of those in. They're all going actually into the chest below straight away as soon as I put them in. If I click here we can see them in the item hopper. Um, flick that on it's going to bounce back and forth um, and we should start to see some items appearing in those chests. Yeah there we go 11, 12, 13 so it's working um, and that's basically the hopper item sorter so that's what you're looking to build just a row of those uh, i hope this has uh, been informative and uh, you all do some cool item sorting with it take care bye bye